From papyrus scrolls of ancient Egypt to modern digital printing, the book is a technology that has stood the test of time. Today, we take books for granted, but as more information comes to us online, as traditional newspapers die out and electronic versions of everything proliferate, we may find ourselves wondering, what is the future of the book? Only time will tell, but clues may be found in understanding the art, science, and craft of this age-old technology. The Center for the Book at the University of Iowa is a unique program that combines practice in the art of book production with the study of the book in society. You know, you would think, gosh, well, why should any university have a program in paper making or uh, book? Aren't they passe? I mean, isn't this the digital age? But you got to remember, there's a tremendous history of transmission of literature, ideas, via books and paper. Timothy Barrett is a research scientist at the center and an internationally recognized expert in paper making. Barrett's work earned him a prestigious MacArthur Fellowship Award in 2009, a grant of half a million dollars over several years to support his research. It means a great deal to me and to the rest of us here at the Center for the Book simply to be acknowledged. You can take the money away, but to have the recognition on a national or international level really, really means a lot to all of us in the Center for the Book, means a lot to the University of Iowa, and it means a lot to our students. At a campus renowned for its literary programs, the Center for the Book helps to keep book arts alive. Ann Covell is a graduate student earning a master's in library and information science, as well as a graduate certificate in book studies. My areas of specialization in the Center are multifold, I would probably say. There are so many different things to study about the book. Everything from the typography to the, the paper used, to the style of the structure, the structure of the book itself, to any kinds of art forms that are used within it. It is an art form on its own, but it is also an entire discipline as well. Students at the center learn not only the craft and science of book production, but undertake cultural and historical studies of the book in society. Instructor and bookbinding expert Julia Leonard says this integrated approach is key to keeping the book arts relevant. There is a need for this and there is an, a demand for it and it's both in the historical cultural side and in the artistic side and in the craft side. So we've got these three things that blend here and we do it differently than anybody else because we are trying to bring all those things together. Graduate student Islam Ali came from Cairo, Egypt to study at the Center for the Book while earning his PhD in art education. I'm interested in the relation between the artist's books uh, and how they could be used in teaching and education. Many people now are arguing what's the role of the book with all the new media that are now emerging, the, the e-books, the iPads, all this stuff that they are saying that it might make the book die. But at the same time, the artists have a new role to take this book and um, implement it with new forms and new visions. A lot of people will, will make books in historical ways, but infuse sort of that new, the, the new jargon and the new technologies into those books. And so I think it, they both feed each other while we're doing some things that may seem like historical technologies, letterpress, paper making, things like that. At the same time, we're always constantly thinking about those new things as well because they're part of our lives. And so I think the two feed each other. The merging of technique and technology will undoubtedly influence where the book evolves, and both students and faculty at the center are interested in that future. The digital revolution that we're in the midst of the, the idea that the book may in fact be disappearing in many forms has made people suddenly more aware of the book and of paper. If you think about it, the book has been a very, very functional, uh, user-friendly device for centuries. And I think whoever invents what comes next digitally needs to really understand why that codex book structure has been so effective. We get to reimagine the book. You know, the book doesn't just have to be one thing anymore. It can be a lot of things. And people are interested in that. Where's it going to go? What's it going to be? How does it sit side by side with digital means of, of storage or communication? 
The Center for the Book is just one of many University of Iowa programs that helped Iowa City earn its recent City of Literature designation from the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. This community continues to foster literacy and creativity, and the Center for the Book embodies this passion in their work. Books and paper give words a place to lie down, uh, according to a poet friend of mine. And I think that there will always be a place for the Center for the Book as long as writing is happening here in Iowa City.